und herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Folge Let's Play NBA 2K18. Das nächste Spiel steht an, das geht gegen die Detroit Pistons. Die letzten drei Spiele sind ja super gelaufen. Vor allem die letzten zwei waren überragend. Da hatte ich richtig Spaß und ich hoffe mal, das Spiel heute wird auch so. Noch ein kleiner Hinweis, bevor das Video startet, beziehungsweise bevor das Spiel startet. Wenn euch NBA 2K18 gefällt, dann schaut mal in die Videobeschreibung. Da gibt es einen Link, wo ihr es besonders günstig kaufen könnt und äh, wenn ihr das Video relativ zeitnah nach der Veröffentlichung schaut, dann schaut mal bei uns auf Facebook vorbei, wobei ihr auch generell immer vorbei gucken könnt. Facebook.com slash DZFMGaming oder im Kanalbanner unten rechts, da ist es auch nochmal verlinkt, denn unser Adventskalender läuft noch bis zum 24.12.2017 und da könnt ihr täglich tolle Preise gewinnen. Lohnt sich auf jeden Fall vorbeizuschauen. Und jetzt wollen wir gucken, wie es gegen die Pistons läuft. Viel Spaß bei der ersten Hälfte des Spiels. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. NBA on 2K Sports, Ernie Johnson with colleagues Shaq and Ken Smith. Tonight we'll be watching the Los Angeles Clippers playing against the Detroit Pistons. For Detroit, they're hoping to start turning around their luck. They lost their first matchup against these guys. This, their final game against them in the regular season, looking to finish with a split. And the Detroit Pistons, a solid defensive team, but their lackluster offense has held them back. What do they need to improve there, Kenny? I think they just need some more outside shooting. Uh, spread the floor, give their guys some driving lanes. You got a true center in Andre Drummond, so he needs some space because he's a space eater. And, you know, their best player is more of a defensive player. You know, they need a few more shot creators as well. That'll do it. Both teams ready for tip. Kevin Harlan has the call. welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Yours is mine. 
It's Detroit Pistons NBA action. We're in the Motor City, where the Pistons are looking to take on a Western Conference opponent. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brent Perry, this is Kevin Harlan, our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. The Clippers looking for a strong start to this road trip. Winning their last three games. They'd like to make that four in a row here tonight. And keep in mind, just the two-game season series, this is their final game against this group. And they're looking to duplicate the outcome of that first contest where they played a terrific ball game. Well, I think they have the mindset to get this sweep as long as they don't take this team lightly because they've already beaten them this season. And before we get going, let's hear from David Aldridge John on the sideline. David? Well, guys, Stan Van Gundy was the head coach in Miami, Orlando, and now Detroit. Now, he's promised his wife that this is the last stop. He said, I wanted one more shot at it. I've got a great owner, and I should be able to get it turned around in the time that he's given me. If I don't, I don't. This will be the last one. Kevin? And, D.A., it's obvious that Stan has a real love for the game. Here's hoping he turns that story franchise around. And coming up fast, the All-Star break. Brent, we talk about how that gives players a chance to rest up. How valuable do you think that really is? Well, I think it's important, Kev, that it's active rest and that you do something during the break. The league has now extended the All-Star break for players, so it's even more imperative that they do that. But the mental rest is huge. Just to get away, spend time with friends and family, refresh yourself, especially if you're a team that's got a chance to play in the postseason. Get ready for that run, and it's on. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. And the Clippers, looking at who they've got. Griffin and Jordan, the front courts. Williams and Gallinari at the two and the three. And it's DJ in at the point guard. And this upcoming offseason will be a big one for DJ. He's scheduled to be a free agent, and a lot of teams will want to add him to their roster. Yeah, quick foul to pick up right away here in the first quarter. And out of bounds as the Clippers gain possession. <laughs> On offense, here are the Clippers. They want to keep it rolling here following the win against Dallas. And their aggressiveness on D, for me, it felt like that was the advantage that turned the tide for them. Well, fast and physical, sometimes you can get lost if you get out of whack. They had great discipline on that end of the floor, and that led to some key stops, and they got the win. Now, here is Smith. He's guarded closely. And here is Harris. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Brooklyn. And, guys, in addition to that scoring, he was absolutely tenacious on the defensive end. A complete two-way game for him. Finished with three steals, I think, and that was a difference maker. And Gallinari kicks to DJ. Jordan, the screen, from the arc. Off the mark, his first miss of the game. One for two. Clippers on defense. Harris with it. Now guarded by Gallinari. And the basket by Harris. And so many defenses nowadays really not designed to take away that mid-range jumper. And I'm loving the recognition, right? He simply takes what the defense allows. That's a smart move. Offense clicking early here. Three for four to start this one. And here are the Pistons coming off that loss against the Nets. Yeah, and they were just shaky at times when it mattered most in that game. And it cost them. Yeah, Greg, I think you're right there. At major turning points, they, they miss a series of shots, they make some mistakes, and it led to the wipeout. Now Smith following the three-point attempt by DJ. On the wing, Harris. Going on recovering. Here's Trummond, and he can't bank that one in. Los Angeles has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Nobody near Williams. Offensive rebound, and DeAndre Jordan throws it down. Well, Jordan plays with an absolute joy, and it becomes infectious for the team. Right now, he's just eating up the glass. Now, here is Smith. Defense right on him. Drummond the screen. Here's Harris. A shot missing. Some solid defense from Gallinari. 
Puts it up from 12. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Jordan. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Pistons trail by six. Smith kicks to Harris. Over Gallinari. No good off the front iron. I still love the shot selection. The defense wasn't really a factor. You need to be more aggressive guarding the mid-range. Williams dishes to DJ. Sinks the three-pointer. DJ's got his second basket of the night. And those threes make DJ a very dangerous player to deal with when he's knocking them down. Don't let him get hot from out there. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Clippers leading by nine. But three. Rebound by Smith. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. And Lure kicks to Smith. Drummond the screen. Brent, when we look at some of the classic rivalries between teams, they don't look as emotionally charged nowadays, at least just by the, the first appearance. Is there a way to get that back uh, the way it was? I don't think so, Kevin, just because everything is too accessible for us. It used to be that the distance between those cities seemed to be the exact mileage that the cities were that far apart. Now you can pick up your phone and you feel like if you're in San Francisco, you might as well be in L.A. Sure. And so it's really hard to get that dynamic to happen. It's got to happen more organically, which is what we've seen between Golden State and Cleveland appearing in the finals the past couple years. That's really helped the league to see those two teams do battle for the league's greatest prize. Tony, and that's now nine points for Tobias Harris. Uh, right now he is locked in. He's getting great shots and he's burning the D in a variety of ways. And when you look at what the Pistons have done, pretty clear this is a team that has a vision of who they want to be. Strong defensively, really good at rebounding the basketball, and I think deliberate and patient on the offensive side of the floor. And that one is good from DJ. A split-second decision from DJ on the catch-and-shoot jump shot. That's a sign of a player with the right mindset, ready to fire. Smith kicks to Harris. Lure the screen. Up off the screen and slammed on by Harris. And that's such solid, fundamental basketball on display right there, guys. You, you talk about it all the time, Greg. Yeah, great use of the pick to set up a dunk. Well, that's a play that only works by practicing over and over and having a great rhythm with your teammate. You could see the timing there. And last season, DeAndre Jordan making his first All-Star appearance. With a tremendous accomplishment for DJ to come into the league, immediately accept his role as a screen-setting, lob-getting big man that could affect the game with his rebounding prowess. And for him to appear in the mid-season classic, a validation of accepting your role and working within it. Shoot two. And he can't get the first one. And for the Clippers, they have had some success certainly over the last decade. Still, Brent, it's always going to be a battle for this team to fight for the love of the city of Los Angeles against the Lakers. Yeah, Kevin, I just feel like that's never going to happen. It's a Laker town in Los Angeles. And even over the course of the past few seasons where the Clippers have had more wins and more success and more deeper runs into the playoffs, the Lakers still run the town. And this Clippers team has been in the hunt for a deep playoff run for some time. Consistently tried to get a veteran bench to help them with that goal, and they've succeeded there, but it's come at the cost of developing young players. Yeah, last season, the Clippers were the oldest team in the NBA by average age, and, and they have not had many injections of youth to revitalize or, or develop the roster uh, along with the success that they've had. And, you know, that could be really important for a young player to watch a team do great things. They've relied on a lot of veterans and there could be some cost or residual cost to not having some younger players. Here's Griffin. Rebound by the Pistons. Last time they came together was in Los Angeles, where they fell to the Clippers. And that was an ugly loss for them last time playing these guys. And really, the rebounding differential was the key. Yeah, it was very poor, their performance on the glass. And it wasn't the only reason they got blown out as badly as they did, but it was the biggest reason. 
Oh, tough layup with a guy right on him. He can be a hard player to handle at times. Harris drives in. It's good, the assist that time from Smith. Harris has got 15 points. This is a guy whose mindset just never changes. Even when they're losing, he's always going to be aggressive. The pass to Williams. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. That miss is his fourth this game. He's shooting three for seven from the field. Well, you, you have to like their work on the board, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Oh, a good open look, and he sprays it home from three. Alinari on the wing. Pass to Williams. He kicks it to DJ. Griffin against Luer. Over in the corner, Williams. Oh, good on the triple. And here are the Pistons. They're on a 14-5 run. Smith, the pass to Kunar. Drummond with a screen on Williams. Here's Kunar. Nine points last game. Just five on the clock. Dan Moore wide open. He shoots it. And another three for Detroit. That screen made it impossible for the defense to put up any kind of fight. Clippers trail by three. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. DJ dishes to Griffin. Feeds to DJ. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. 11 points in the game. And Griffin spreading the wealth now, showing he's more than just a scorer. Now a timeout called by Detroit. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. And the Pistons, an entirely new group now out there. The Clippers also changing it up. Harrell comes in for Blake Griffin. And it's Austin Rivers in for Williams. Detroit's gone three of five from three-point land so far in the ballgame. And here we go. Fast break. DJ's got it. Harrell kicks to DJ. It's good. That basket, he's now five for nine. Well, his offense should come with a warning label, caution, flammable. He's connecting on everything. The D looks dumbfounded. There's Galloway. 14 points from him, the last game against Brooklyn. Ellenson with a wide open look. Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Rivers kicks to Jordan. The feed to DJ. The dish to Harold. Fires from deep. And it's DJ missing. The Pistons trailing. Galloway, the pass to Johnson. From down in the low post, it goes. And it's just been an avalanche of points here in the early going. Yeah, for both teams, we're seeing great synergy on offense, but some lackluster defense. Rivers in the corner. Pops it up for Jordan. Passes it to DJ. Fires the three, and Rivers gets it to go in on the assist by DJ. DJ's got three assists tonight. Pistons trail by three. There's Galloway. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. Johnson outside. Jackson kicks to Galloway. There's Ellenson. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Los Angeles leading by three. Rivers in the corner. Jacks up a three, and again, it's the Clippers from deep. Magalinari at that size can do a little bit of everything, and I like to see him dishing the rock. Now here's Jackson. Tight defense on him. Kicks it to Ellenson. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. And I know we want to assume these shots are going in. The defense definitely blew an assignment there, but still got lucky. It's stolen by Marjanovic. 
This is to Galloway. Jackson has the open look. That's good, and so Galloway with the assist. He can be a forgotten man in their offense sometimes, but the D still has to keep an eye on him. Rivers kicks to DJ. Jordan, the screen, has to DJ. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. I think what separates Jordan from most of the other centers is sheer athleticism, using it whenever he can on both ends of the floor. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Two shots. And the first one drops. For the Clippers, Wells is checked in for Gallinari. And it's Patrick Beverly in for DJ. And so he's able to get one of two. Pistons trailed by four. Now here's Jackson. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Brooklyn. And what opened things up for him was his passing. He was making so many plays that the D had to play off it. 102 left to play in the first quarter. The pass to Rivers. To the paint. It's stolen by Marjanovic. Beverly against Jackson. Johnson outside. Ellenson kicks to Marjanovic. 34 seconds left in the first. Pick by Harold. A floater. And Beverly finishes it off. Beverly's got his first two points of the night. And for Beverly, showing a little in-between game there. Outside Jackson. He dishes it to Ellenson. He feeds it to Galloway. The Pistons working the ball around now. Clock at four. Here's Marjanovic. Makes it off the glass. And if you give him an inch of space, he's going to make you pay. DJ has been on display for Los Angeles. We witnessed him delivering a series of three-pointers as he notched three total in the quarter. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Don't miss the action. Your favorite NBA superstars are here to compete in a showcase of the league's top talent. It's the NBA All-Star Game. So far, it's been a closely contested game as we get the second quarter up and going. And guys, what's your take on the Clippers so far? Yeah, it didn't take them long to get that transition game going. Well, that's a quick way to build the lead, but Greg, can they sustain this kind of effort all night long? We'll see. They've got Ellenson, also Johnson out there. Jackson is out there with Marjanovic, and it's Galloway in at the two spot. That's the group for Detroit right now. A nice shot by Rivers. Austin feeling the pull up that time, reading the defense and not deciding to take it too far into the D. Jackson against Reed. Here's Ellenson. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Ellenson's got his first three points of the game. Love to see it when he pulls up from the outside. A big guy with tremendous range to surprise commodity in today's NBA. Rivers dishes to well. Reed a screen. Shoots off the screen. A shot by Wells. No good. Well executed. Great rhythm. You've got to finish that. Well, it's like Thanksgiving out there, carving out space off the screen 
just couldn't complete the play. Now, here's Marjanovic. Nine points last game. There's a screen by Marjanovic. Six on the shot clock. Ellenson's shot is off. The Clippers in the lead. Rivers with it. He's got eight. Softly drops in the floater. Rivers has got four this quarter. That's one of the Rivers' go-to shots there. The high arcing floater. He has a tough time stopping that. Galloway, the pass to Ellenson. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. We see it so often. A player will languish in one system, then flourish in another. Brent, during your 14-year career, which coach's system fit you the best? Year? Well, I think my years in Seattle, we opened up the offense a little bit and had the opportunity to play more of a, a point off guard. But I also enjoyed the structure of what Greg Popovich's system in San Antonio offered up as well. Always interesting, Kevin, with players who are languishing on benches for other ball clubs how general managers start to assess whether that guy can be part of something great if they were to bring him in. I had the opportunity to play for a lot of great coaches and thought that I mixed up my game enough to make it a long career. Dan Ozich has checked in for Austin Rivers. He hits both from the strike. For Los Angeles, they've gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Beverly against Jackson. Pass to Teodosic. And another three for the Clippers. And Beverly, not a volume playmaker, but he always makes smart decisions with the basketball. Galloway kicks to Jackson. Marjanovic is screen on Beverly. And it's Ellenson in the corner. Outside Jackson. Here's Galloway. Off target from outside. Well, even though he missed, you like seeing him taking that kind of shot. The defense must be better. Down low, here's Harrell. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. Now it's a six-point Los Angeles lead. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Jackson kicks to Galloway. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Galloway has got himself on the board with three there. And defensively, you've got to make a greater effort working over the screens. Yeah, it's a bit of a lazy play right there. You're hoping that the guy misses the shot without really doing your job and challenging it. Stolen by Jackson. Drops in the breakaway lane. Now just a one-point Los Angeles lead for Los Angeles. They've gotten four of the first five shots to fall in the second quarter. Outstanding shooting. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play to the inside. And it's Harrell missing. Well, from our angle, that looked like that was going in. But uh, defense, fantastic how they contested it. Galloway, no good. Yeah, and something we always talk about, though, shot selection. Well, being aggressive is one thing, but aggression with control is another. And you need both elements working together. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Jackson kicks to Galloway. Johnson the screen. Feeds to Ellenson. It's through for a second basket. He's now two for six. And he has really come to life here after a slow start in that first quarter. Over to the wing. The feed to Well. Hit by Harrell. Feed away. Yep, that one goes in there. Wells has got four points now in the quarter. Yeah, you, you got to appreciate the IQ of Well. Working well off the screen, getting in prime position to score. Now here's Ellenson. He has seven. Johnson outside. Six on the shot clock. And it's Ellenson in the corner. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. It's just been an off night for him. That doesn't happen all that often. But the thing that you do at this point is not to push it, not to rush it. Let it come back to you. Teodosic. And that one is off. The Pistons go the other way with it. Jackson dishes to Galloway. There's a screen by Marjanovic. 
Jackson misses. He sunk that three in the first, but he's yet to make another one. Beverly, the pass to Wells, and the Clippers getting another bucket right there. Pistons trailed by five. Here's Galloway. Looking at his point production, he averages almost eight points a game. Wells with it. Johnson's there. The shot by Wells, no good. Detroit's gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight, just a little over 40%. Johnson kicks to Galloway. The dish to Jackson. Marjanovic with a screen for Jackson. Shot clock at five. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Back to Beverly. Stolen by Jackson. Oh, and here we go. Jackson, nobody back. Lays it in off the breakaway. Now just a one-point clipper lead. <laughs> he really takes off, just never looks back. Yeah, by the time anyone even thinks of chasing him, he's gone. Pass to Teodosic. Puts it up from 12, and Galloway pulls it down. The Pistons have gone 6 of 11 from the floor. Over 50% shooting here in the second quarter. The Clippers have gotten seven of their 12 field goals have to drop here in the second quarter. Up over 50%. And the rejection by Marjanovic. And it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touch by Marjanovic. So it's both teams making substitutions here. a three off the inbound and it's dj missing and the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three i didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession and watching andre drummond play he's really just an old school type center i mean eats up space in the middle and finishes plays in close not a skilled guy who can pull a defender away from the basket and let's catch up with our sideline reporter david Aldridge. Well, DJ in the last matchup against the Mavericks was all business. He finished with 30 points, and in addition to his scoring, he also finished with a season high in rebounds. A surprise attack from a guy who's typically viewed as a role player. We'll see if he can continue to play a larger role in tonight's game. Great, David. Appreciate it. Rally set the bar pretty high for himself with that performance. He did. I mean, but we know he's going to try to raise that bar again tonight. No matter how good he is, he's always thinking he can do better. And the great players are never satisfied. We'll see what he does in the next one. It was beautiful the first time, but Under Armour showing us the replay of that tremendous alley-oop again. Another unleashed chaos moment. And with Drummond, he does play like uh, towering centers of decades past. Yeah, I mean, he isn't great at moving the ball around or hitting shots from range, but his size and athleticism are elite and one of the best rebounders in our game. Los Angeles making a switch here. Williams has checked in. Now here's Williams looking for his first basket still in this one. No good that time. Ah, uh, you love basketball. Couldn't miss in the first quarter. Now can't make it in the second quarter. Got to be eating at him just a bit. Harris setting the pick for Smith. He kicks it to Drummond. Dishes to Harris. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Drummond and Jordan sends it back. If there's one end of the floor that DJ takes seriously, it's the defensive end, and he loves to get up and reject those shots. Pistons trail by seven. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Screen by Smith. Kicks it to Harris. Over Griffin. And he drops it in from the low post. And that's 17 points for Tobias Harris. Yeah, one of the few bright spots for his team. I mean, he's had a very efficient offensive performance. No doubt without these contributions, they'd be in a much deeper hole in this one, no question. Detroit's gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. 
6 of 15. Pass to Drummond. Here's Kennard. Out to the right wing. Yep, it goes, and the Clipper lead is cut down to two on the bucket from Lewis. You can blame some poor defense on that play. Just a total breakdown. Got to at least contest at some point. Williams kicks to DJ. Gallinari in the corner. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Andre Drummond picks one up. Now for his whole career, Gallinari has been viewed as a small forward, but Brent, every so often he'll find minutes at the four, and with the way the NBA is going, I wouldn't be surprised to see him more often there than not. Well, if he does transition, Kevin, to the four spot for Gallinari, the question is, who is it that he's defending on the other side? If it's a quick four man that has the same kind of Take range and can put the ball on the deck, Too that shot. becomes a tough matchup for Gallinari, but certainly his ability to shoot the ball will provide space for other wing players. The first one falls. So he hits both. Right now, Brent, so much ball movement is perimeter based, but as defenses have adjusted, do you think we'll see more offense run through the post again like we did before? I think what we're seeing, Kevin, is that post up play is being redefined by more guards, more guys who draw attention down there on the block. And uh, that's the way these shifts are happening. The offense right now in today's NBA is so far ahead of what defensive concepts have taught you for years that the post-up game, it'll be a few years before we get back to dynamic post-play. I, I find that comment you just made fascinating, that it's that much advanced over the defense. Yeah, because think about it, Kevin. For years and years, you've had coaching staffs and film guys talking to you about the basic qualities of a defense, and that is rim runs for the big, getting back into the paint, and building your defense out. You do that today, you're at a disadvantage on most every possession. Now here is Harris, 17 points in the game. He combined his massive size and then his desire to pound the glass. It makes him a tough cover on the board. Offensive rebound. DJ kicks to Williams. Another miss by Williams. Pistons trail by four. Smith outside. The pass to Harris. He feeds it to Lure. A three-pointer, no good. Los Angeles has gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Pass to DJ. To the middle. Here's Griffin. And Griffin slams it in. And Griffin playing with heart. Like how he slams that one home right now, dominating in the paint. There's 47 seconds left to play in the first half. Smith outside. Harris up top. Going on recovering. Feeds to Lure. He dishes it to Smith. Six to shoot. Passes to Kanan. This one for three. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Smith's got his third assist on the night. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Now, here is going on. Nine points, last game out. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. Griffin staying strong down low. Even when he knows the hit is coming, Kevin, great concentration and toughness shown there. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And the first one drops. Uh, Griffin, such a tough matchup. A big man with explosive speed, and that jumper's coming along nicely. Late 
Griffin hits them both. There's 10 seconds left in the first half. Over in the corner, Lewis. Another three for Detroit. Terrific job by Smith to dish that one off to his open teammate right there. He gets it up. And the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. And we're through the first half of basketball here in what's been a good one. Clippers ahead, up by two. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Und wie immer hört ihr David Aldridge natürlich morgen. Wir gucken kurz noch zurück auf diese erste Halbzeit. Ich bin mit meiner Leistung eigentlich ganz zufrieden, bis auf die zwei Turnovers, die unnötig waren. Und das eine Foul. Ähm, dafür aber drei Assists, ein Steal, ein Rebound und wieder mal gute 15 Punkte. Auch wenn ich ganz knapp unter den 50% in der Trefferquote sind. Aber meine starke Halbzeit ist immer die zweite Halbzeit. Die seht ihr morgen. Denn für heute war es das schon wieder. Wenn euch das Video gefallen hat, dann lasst einen Daumen hoch. Da ihr dürft auch sehr, sehr gerne kommentieren. Und wenn ihr es noch nicht abonniert habt, dann abonniert es doch einfach. Vergesst aber nicht, die kleine Glocke neben dem Abonnieren-Button zu drücken. Denn nur dann bekommt ihr alles mit, was bei uns im Kanal so abgeht. Außerdem lohnt es sich, wenn ihr das Video zeitnah nach seiner Veröffentlichung schaut, mal bei uns auf Facebook vorbeizuschauen. Facebook.com slash dzfmgaming. Den Link findet ihr auch nochmal bei uns im Kanalbanner hier auf YouTube unten rechts. Da... Gibt es nämlich noch bis zum 24.12.2017 unseren Adventskalender. Da gibt es jeden Tag coole Preise für euch abzustauben. Lohnt sich auf jeden Fall da mal vorbeizuschauen. Und wenn da gerade mal kein Gewinnspiel am Start ist, dann bekommt ihr dort zumindest News aus der Szene und einige Tests geboten. Also guckt da auf jeden Fall mal vorbei. Und wenn euch NBA 2K18 gefällt, dann schaut mal in die Videobeschreibung. Da findet ihr den Link, wo ihr das Spiel besonders günstig kaufen könnt. Und damit sage ich Tschüss für heute. Im Abspann könnt ihr jetzt auf die linke Seite des Bildschirms klicken für Tipps aus dem Kanal. Auf die rechte Seite für unsere komplette NBA 2K18 Playlist. Und in der Mitte, da könnt ihr uns abonnieren. Und ich sage Tschüss und macht's gut. Bis morgen.